It's usually around this time of year that people start to say, I've seen you somewhere before. It's not all the time, but it happens and I'm always surprised, because it was 33 years ago that I played Argyle and Die Hard. When I was in my early 20s, Lee Daniels, who is now a huge director and producer in Hollywood, was managing me. He was talking to Jackie Birch, the casting director, because they were friends, and she told him she was looking for a kid for a new Bruce Willis movie. They needed someone to be an upbeat, funny limo driver and Lee suggested me for the role. So they set up a meeting for me with the producer Joel Silver and Bruce Willis. At that time, Bruce had been on the show Moonlighting and he was known for TV but, with all respect, he wasn't Bruce Willis yet, he wasn't a megastar. I just knew he was a star doing a major film with Joel Silver. I went in and just said to myself, do your best, that's all you can do. I read with them once and they asked me to do it again, so I read it a little differently, a little more upbeat. I remember I went home and there were messages on my answering machine, yes, and the dinosaur. And it was Lee saying they wanted me for the role of Argyle. Die Hard was shot at Fox Plaza and in the surrounding area in LA and on my first day on set I read with the director John McTiernan, who I knew was huge. We started to read and I said my line about why John McClane hadn't bothered to pack much. John McTiernan looked at me and asked if I had studied the chemistry and the objectives in the scene. I was just used to going on energy, but I told him I had memorized the lines. He pulled me to the side, and looked at me with these piercing eyes. I will never forget it, and I loved him for this, he told me that Bruce's character was a cop and he and his wife were separating, so he was going to see her with one bag, hoping that they will get back together and live happily ever after.